everybody, John Meadows here, and I have a special guest, the muscle doc himself, Dr. Jordan Shallow, and he's gonna put me through a back workout today. Now, you guys know I have all kinds of weird back issues, so Jordan has promised me by the end of the day they will all be fixed, right? That's right, it's one day, he'll be fine. One day, 37 years of beating up myself is gonna be fixed. Now, this guy, I'm so happy to have you here. This guy has forgotten more than I'll ever know. So he's gonna walk me through a back workout today. It's gonna to be tough, but it's very intelligently designed. So stay tuned, here we go. All right, so to start off with just inverted body weight rows. Um, kind of more of a drill for like scapular stability. So a lot of times when we go through this motion, we do it loaded the opposite direction, right? Like looks a lot like a bench press. Most people can't really stabilize their scapula well when they bench. Uh, because they don't have to, right? The shoulder blades get stabilized by the by the bench that they're laying on. So this takes that bench away and forces you to stabilize the scap externally. So it can be really fatiguing for just your own body weight. I'm going to kind of shine some light on the idea that, well, maybe if your own body weight's fatiguing to stabilize your scaps, then maybe benching more than your body weight um, is a bit of a disparity between strength and stability through those muscles of stability of the scap. Um, I'll move over to kettlebell windmills. So Big key here is cranking into external rotation from start to finish. So when John comes back up to the top, that pinky is going to drive forward towards the ceiling, externally rotating the shoulders, pushing up through the kettlebell the entire time. So you notice he's just going to go in right down the seam of his pants, right lateral, and it's straight up. So trying to minimize any sort of side to side movement through that arm, and then just really exaggerating that external rotation at the top. So same thing on the side. Trying to keep that arm locked out. And he's thinking of pushing his shoulder blade through his lat out of the bottom. So trying to corkscrew out of that bottom position using that serratus, drive the pinky forward at the end. It's just scapular stability drills before we get into the actual workout. Um, something like this, integrate three to four, maybe even five like warm-up sets in between um, whatever we're kind of warming up with. So we'll throw the rope pullovers in now. Um, 12, 15 reps, kind of go off feel. All right, so first movement, just going through rope pullovers. Real simple, keep the elbows tucked in, drive the hips back. Just create distance between the armpit and the hip. It's gonna stretch out the lat, reinforce the full overhead position. And try and keep tension, so tuck the elbows in, externally rotate the shoulders at the top, and then just think pull with the elbows straight into extension. So just don't overthink this one.
high. So we're going into a single arm dumbbell row and kind of stepping out of the bodybuilding vein. This is about, this is about training movements, not muscles, right? Like huge force and rotation as you go through. Notice his back knee, just drive the back knee out, reach that hand towards midline, pull from the elbow, and keep those shoulders square with the hips the whole time. So real simple, you feel it a lot through your obliques. Lats and obliques are real strong, like stabilizers of the spine. So we're just creating a huge amount of force and rotation. You gotta fight it the whole way. All right, folks, now we're doing chins. Many as you can with your body weight, which at this point in the workout, it's not many. So just do the best you can. It's gonna be really hard to get up into that shortened position, fully contracted. So we're gonna use the bands a little to help us out. Now Jordan's moving on to, I believe this is the light band, if I'm not mistaken. You get some more reps here. Again, the bands want to help you get a little bit higher, which is really tough at this point in the workout. There we go. All right, now we're going to move on to a little thicker band to help us a little more. This is an average band, I believe, from our friends at Elite FTS. So now we're going to try to get some more reps here. There we go. There we go. Come on. Good, right there. Doesn't take many reps. You know, again, we've done, the last exercise, Jordan had me really stretching. This one, we weren't really trying to go for a stretch. We're trying to get contracted. Of course, we're pretty fatigued, so we're using the bands to help us. You can also do these early in the workout and you're a little bit more fresh. But regardless of whether you're fresh or tired, using the bands in this process is a great way to allow you to continue to get more reps with good form. So, man, those were tough. All right, that's the back workout. That was a lot of work, but I gotta tell you, man, my back feels great. Not only did I have a lot of uh, good blood flow into my lats, my lower back feels really good, which is great for me. Those heavy dumbbell rows, sometimes those can fire up my lower back, so uh, the stuff that you were teaching me was very effective. So I appreciate that, man. That was awesome. We worked really hard. Hopefully you guys will give this workout a shot. Let us know what you think. And also, where can everybody reach you at, Jordan? Uh, YouTube, Instagram, the muscle doc, on Instagram, the underscore muscle underscore doc. Uh, programming uh, at pre-script.com, www.pre-script.com. Pre-script.com. And you're doing a podcast? Yeah. Oh, that's right. right. Uh, iTunes, Spotify, RX Radio, RX apostrophe D Radio. Um, yeah, you can find us fitness and health on uh, iTunes and Spotify. Listen to everything this guy says. This is one of the sharpest guys I've ever worked with. So, Jordan, I appreciate it. We're getting ready to do a whole lot of videos, so stay tuned on the channel. Lots more coming up. If you like that video, I know you're going to love my app available on the Google Play Store for Android, iPhones, and the Apple Store. There's so much information on here, it's amazing. Training, workouts, hundreds of workouts, nutrition methodology questions, chemical enhancement, supplementation, client prep, and a Q&A button. Check it out.